indecision and came to me and said, what if we can't decide which one? And I said, well, we, that's not our problem. We'll stay out of this. So they picked two gentlemen, Mr. Saburo Hayashi and Mr. Akinobu Kojima. So it is, a few gentlemen will stand up here. Uh, Mr. Hayashi, it's with great pleasure that I present you with the Vaughn Prize for 1963. Mr. Kojima, it's with great pleasure I present you with the Vaughn Prize in 1963. Thank you. would care to make a speech. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can stop the camera now. If I may suggest, uh, all we got was a, all the camera got was a box of the thing. Huh? If the two gentlemen could come right. with you holding the, uh, yeah. I think yeah. it would make a small hey, Just a minute, stop the camera for... we've ever had our award on television. We, we hope it's on television. <coughs> Is this going to be a feature like <laughs> <laughs> When the editors, the editors will have to stop. I'm, I'm glad he won the prize. Mr. Kojima, would you say something, please? Uh, I want to make uh, a few words, because uh, I stand as a great man, Mr. Hayashi. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hogan and the uh, members of the section committee and uh, gentlemen. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me uh, to receive this uh, wonderful uh, prize. And I uh, really don't know uh, how to express my happiness. Uh, I'll never forget that today is uh, this deep emotion, uh, one of the deepest ones which I have ever had. Uh, as a correspondent of the Nihon Keizai, uh, I, I have been in New York about three years. Uh, 
and I have, I have to cover the news, the political news in Washington and the uh, economical news in New York uh, three years. And I laid emphasis on the economical news. The, as you know, our paper is the special newspaper for economics. But uh, our paper had, had only one reporter there, so uh, I covered the all fields. Uh, sometimes I became the human data, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I met Mrs. Lusk, uh, Mrs. Uh, Goldberg, uh, um, and uh, I uh, have a story on the uh, uh, way of life. Uh, American way of life. And uh, I think that Peg would like to see all of us here today, many of them old friends, to think about Mr. Waiter and himself. <coughs> In his 40 years here, I don't think any American journalist ever had as many friends as Peg did. And uh, I think that is about as great a tribute as can be paid any foreign correspondent. And if we, those of us who work abroad can make as many friends as Peg did, then our lives will be a great success. Thank you very much.